Hello and thank you for taking the time to learn more about the Salfeld Child Control application. After installing the application, you can review and configure all of its features by double-clicking on the tray icon and entering your password. That will bring you to this screen, which is the Child Control Dashboard. It gives you a summary of important information both on a user level and for the PC in general, quickly, at a glance. Now, if we go up to the top right and bring down the user dialog, these users are the same as your Windows users, so there's no need to set up additional accounts within Child Control. Now, the options selected will be applied only to the selected user, although global settings are available, which I'll show later. Let's look at the time limits for Peter. These time limits allow me to designate for each user the time a user is allowed to use the PC or allowed to use the internet. We can configure time limits on aggregate by day, week, or month, or individually for each day of the week. The same level of control is available for internet usage as well. We can also help make sure your child takes a break from the computer once in a while with our forced break option. Conversely, if you wish to configure times that access is blocked, select the Block Times option from the lower right-hand side of the menu. This grid gives you granular control over PC block times and internet block times. Red is blocked, green is accessible. Down the left-hand side are the days of the week, and across the top are the hours in the day. Using this grid makes it simple to configure PC and internet availability. Now let's have a look at how we can help protect your child through internet filtering. Salfeld has gone to substantial effort by including myriad URLs behind these filters to help protect your child. You can see at the top of the screen here, you have four distinct options for applying filters to internet usage. Using these options, you can block the internet entirely, or you can activate some very sophisticated web filters without much effort at all. The first, the filter is disabled, that is, no filtering will be done. The second, unwanted websites and URLs will be filtered. The third, only allowed websites will be accessible. And the fourth, you can shut off internet usage entirely. You can see with this fourth option, it's rather drastic, and we'd like you to confirm that you really want to shut off entire access to the internet. One of Child Control's newest features is the search engine filter. This filter is covered in depth in another tutorial. This screen allows you to add a URL or keyword that you want filtered. You can configure it here to be always authorized, never authorized, or have a time limit. For example, if you didn't want your kids spending too much time on Facebook. In your surfing, if you yourself come across some dubious URLs, they can be reported to Salfeld, and we'll do our best to include them in the filters. A very popular feature from previous versions is the ability to restrict downloads, and if my child does come across questionable content, to redirect them to a safe, well-known site. Let's save these changes. Let's have a look at the program selection from the left side menu. This is where you as the administrator can control applications at a very granular level. You can see six categories currently, always authorized, programs that are internet related, programs that should never be authorized, system related programs, time limited programs, and unwanted apps. It's a simple process to add an application that you don't want used on this PC. Once the application is selected, a general dialog comes up and on the left hand side is where you specify how you want it categorized. In this case, we want to choose never authorized. 
for the ultimate in control, we're going to add an application that has a time-limited profile. We'll select an application as we did before. And then we see that familiar grid that allows us control over time and day. Note also that we can group applications as well that require similar configurations. Now we'll save these configurations, and don't worry, if you forget to press the Save button, Salfeld Child Control will remind you. Now, from the left side menu, we're going to choose Security. These options allow you to take control of key aspects of the operating system and folders found on the hard drive. This drop-down on the lower right-hand side of the application screen allows you to choose pre-configured security profiles. If you have sensitive information contained in folders on the hard drive, you can limit their accessibility here. On the left side menu, the second group under this PC allow you a global view of the users and settings for this PC. There's a very useful aspect of the child control application called a TAN, a T-A-N. Think of a TAN as a gift card for easily allowing additional usage without having to go back into the application and reconfigure it. You would create a TAN for a specified number of minutes and then note the TAN number. If a child asks for an extension of, let's say, 60 minutes, you would provide them with TAN number 767676. They would enter this number into child control indicating that you had authorized additional time. Another aspect of Salfeld child control is the ability to inspect log files. The log files are a wonderful way to look at precise details of activities on the PC. Our log files allow you to see directly the specifics of what was going on on the computer, what the user did and when, how long they spent on different applications, and how long they spent on different websites. It will also show you how long the PC was in use overall. Salfeld makes it very simple for you to do your homework and keep up to date. Log files can be emailed based on certain events or at regular intervals. Another extremely useful and practical feature of child control is the ability to remotely control it over an internet connection. We have a separate tutorial to explain this essential feature. Tutorials are also available that provide you with tips and tricks as well as an in-depth look at the Internet Filter feature. Should you have any questions, feel free to contact our support team. They will be happy to assist you. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this tutorial and invite you to watch all the others.